Welcome to Programming with Professor Kayla. Today I want to talk about the object variables in Java, which are called object reference variables. So object variables in Java are actually significantly different from primitive variables. They behave in some very different ways. As the title indicates, they're called object reference variables. So our real question now is, what do we mean by reference? To understand that, we need to go back to our diagram of memory. When we looked at memory, we saw that we have variables associated with values. So if we now have an account variable, one of our savings accounts, what will that value look like? The answer to that is that when we call new and put the result of that in account two, what we're going to get is a memory address for an object that's going to be created elsewhere in memory. So we have this address and we can think of it as a reference to the actual object that was created with the call to new. So then let's think about what happens when I actually use variables in say an assignment. So I've got some code here to set up a new my lives variable that's an int and it'll get the num lives value. And then I have a savings account variable, account four, and I'm gonna copy account two into. So what actually happens in memory here is my lives is just gonna get a copy of the value of num lives. So my lives is three, as you might expect. Account four is going to get a copy of the value of account two but the value of the account to variable is this memory address, this reference to the object that was created. We see that we get the same address pointing at the same object. So what impact is that going to have? We've got some more code here that modifies our two variables. So my lives is going to go down by one and we're going to deposit $200 into account four. So what happens with memory at that point is my lives is going to become two, three minus one. Account four, we're going to follow the reference, deposit the $200 in this object, but notice that we've effectively also deposited $200 into account two because they're the same account. Okay, let's go try this out and make sure that I'm telling you the truth. So what I have here is the code from the creating and using objects video. And what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna comment out most of this code. This is a great way to get rid of some code that you don't want to actually lose. So I recommend using those multi-line comments to get rid of code when you're in need of just, I don't want to see you right now. So now I want to create the variables that we were working with. Int num lives is three. Int my lives is two and savings account. Account four is account two. Okay, so now I want to have something that prints these out. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, num lives. Net lives system dot out dot print line. I need to get used to the fact that this does that for me. My lives plus my lives. And then let's actually copy this print for account two and copy it again for four. Okay. 
So now let's uh, run that. And we're going to see that num lives is three. Oh, I put my lives is two instead of my lives is num lives because I'm just silly. Okay, let's run that. And we see that num lives is three, my lives is three, account two balance is 500, account four balance is 500, all as we would expect. So now after those prints, let's go ahead and make the changes that we wanted to make. So we're going to subtract one from my lives and we're going to deposit account for dot deposit 200 and then I want to print again after the changes to see what happened. So now let's run that and see if in fact it behaves the way I claimed it would behave. So up to run. And we see that, pull this up a little bit. And we started out with three and three, 500 and 500. The three in my lives was a copy of the three in num lives. So only my lives changes, but because of the reference, that memory address being what we actually copy for, for the account, the balance is the same because when I deposited 200 in account four, I was at the same time depositing 200 into the object that account two is a reference to. I hope that helps you with a little better understanding of object reference variables and how they work, what goes on with them. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.